What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. This is episode four of the Harley 883 cross cart build for SEMA. Uh, now, we had three weeks total from start to finish on this build to get it to Vegas uh, for SEMA for 2021. Now, on the first episode, uh, we got all the chassis mainly built. Second episode, we did the uh, rear trailing arms. Third episode, we did the front A arms. And now we need to tidy up a bunch of stuff, steering, pedals, floor pans, seat, all that jazz to get it ready to go to North Carolina and be shipped out to SEMA. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is 2004 Prius steering rack. Bought it off eBay. Uh, same exact one I got my buggy. You want a certain years because I don't I don't remember the exact years, but only certain years will work on the Prius ones. Um, this is an 04. So, anyways, we took some 3 8 plate and a one and a quarter triple clamp. Weld that all together. We're about to weld this to this tubing, and then we have our uh, steering adjuster tilt wheel. And this is all welded in so once we get this all this will actually be slid back a little bit and this motor will be rocked over but this is just to get my clamp where i need it i'll tack it all in place and then dave is working on the steering rack mount which will mount down here and then we can get our pedals installed seat shifter brakes <laughs> there's a lot more it's supposed to go to powder co in two days tomorrow is our last day we get to work on it and then i got to tear it down tomorrow afternoon and weld it out like what hasn't been 90 percent of the upper been welded but stuff under the engine hasn't all the a arms are welded out the trailing arms are not um so yeah so but this will be our steering setup it'll go down have another u joint right off the rack and bippity boppity boot bulb junkle so we'll get this welded in
baby. It's 9 p.m. on Monday. It's gonna be a long night of work. Dave has been on the way. No other reason at all. Tell you what, anybody that makes fun of a prime welder don't know what's up because I've ran this thing hard and with this water cooler she don't even get warm. I've ran this welder non-stop. I've went through a whole entire big bottle of gas on this. Ow! Hit myself in the ear. Uh, and I'm on my second bottle. And hundreds of rods. It's been ridiculous. doing here is I'm gonna get the CV dead level in space. Level is like 70-ish. No, it's like 80 to 90 percent of our suspension travel when this is level. That's the way we set it up. Take this court and sue us if you don't like it. So I'm using these Sigmund blocks, these uh, squares and stuff or stops to hold this once I level it out I'll tighten this up. This will be level. That is it my shock in here get my tab welded in, and then do the same thing for my uh, limiting strap. Then, other than welding out the limiting strap, I'm gonna put a gusset in here. We did this three bolt thing because, for one, we don't have a machine to make a billet sick piece, and we didn't have time or material. So we used all this uh, round stock. Dave machined these up, and I'm gonna gusset it in the middle. So this is like a triple mount. Super strong for these control arms. But we're supposed to have this stuff at powder coat today. Suspension parts, but you know.
split out too. We're doing it more for the look and not the performance. Though, yeah. yeah. This is squat because they're empty. Hey, I tell you what. Look, look at the front. So I believe if you shot six Same, in if the we, rear, if we did this, if we did what exactly we're set up now in the back, mm -hmm. let's try that. Be good. Yeah. So. Bring it up. Well, I think so. Yeah, you know, this, I'll roll the bottle back there. No, I'm talking about him jacking up so we get pressure off of it. Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah. Way. yeah. This place is destroyed. Well, it is uh, Sunday and the last day that we have the buggy that we built for Quantum. We built this thing in three weeks, basically. It might have been a hair over three weeks, but um, it was always supposed to be a bare metal chassis going to SEMA, and then we was going to get it back and powder coat it. But uh, I always like to push myself to the edge of mental breakdown and try to get it powder coated beforehand did not work out as you can tell so me and becca stayed up uh, super late last night sanded this chassis down we put some blaster surface shield on it to keep it from rusting and uh, i think it looks awesome actually being a bare steel chassis uh, we put 300 psi in those fox shocks they got a super aggressive uh angle on them and where they're located they're going to need more probably around 350 to 400 actually they'll handle 500 psi but our front is still both of them still not aired up enough his regulator uh, uh a motorcycle shop helped us out a ton eastwood bikes and rods here in sweetwater uh came in clutch and did a house call for us which is pretty amazing so shout out to them guys but his uh regulator only went up to 300 psi so that's all we could put in the rear and we don't have the weight of a driver a gas tank oil tank so I'm thinking we'll be around four to 450 in the rear. And there's 260 in the front, I think. So uh, we'll probably set it, uh, I would imagine, at uh, 300 in the front. But there's no weight on the front end right now, so it's harder to push because there's no, you know, there's gonna be a battery, the driver's weight will help uh, sink in the front. So the front end's light with that locked rear end. So wants to slide the front end around. But I have to load it up and then we have to drive six hours to uh, quantum up in north carolina and hang out for a little bit and drive back same day so i'm definitely going to sleep hard tomorrow and i'm behind on video so then i gotta work just as hard to catch up so uh super ha happy with this thing just want to say a massive massive shout out for you guys for supporting us and allowing us to be able to achieve something like this you know five years ago i had never welded or really ever used a grinder and the fact that God has brought us here and we can build stuff like that is insane and especially in three weeks. We basically had Dave part-time here. Uh, Miss Redbeard has to tend to her kids, you know, take them all their sports activities and stuff. 
So she was part time on it. And then I was double time. Wouldn't have been able to do it without them. So huge shout out to Dave for running the lathes, making parts, notching some tube for me, holding stuff, just helping out in a ton of ways. Uh, couldn't have did it without him. And uh, Miss Redbeard for for the mental support, <laughs> for the emotional support. Uh, and you know she always comes in clutch at the end, helping me finish it off. Look at her out there stacking cardboard. Down. Putting the red carpet down so we don't get it in that Tennessee sweet mud. Uh, we got to load this thing. It has no brakes. Also has no way to lock in gear because it didn't put the chain on it. Uh, so we got to get on the trailer and get it to North Carolina. So here we go. Right. 